Hiya, I'm Dan. Even after a whole year of not vlogging because uh, I got caught up with stuff, I'm still Dan. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Has anything changed in your life? Uh, has it? Not that bothered to be honest with you because I've got news. I've moved to Manchester. This is my new abode, my new little flat, with my flatmate. I do live with someone, I promise. That wasn't like a cue for them to come in because they're at their parents right now. Also, they think it was weird if they were in and I just started talking to a camera. Hmm. So here I am. There's a remote control for you all to have a look at. Oh, and a bird. There it is. Just get that out of my system. So here I am, Manchester. The capital of the north, the home of Coronation Street. It's got quite a few Tesco Expresses, it's got everything going for it. Um, I moved out because I got to the point where I was getting on my mum's nerves to a, an awful extent. Um, and if I didn't make the jump then I probably never would and I'd be one of these spinsters you see living at home when I'm 47 on Match.com, looking for a Thai bride, and I'm not very good with flat pack women. So this was just a little vlog to let you know, all 50 of you that subscribe to my channel, that I'm still alive, and thanks all of you that got in contact to, to make sure I was okay and everything. None of you did. All by myself. Don't wanna be. All by myself. <laughs> but since moving up here, I've learned quite a lot about myself. Now, this is my first time away from home because I, I went to uni for three years, but I was still popping back in too. And this has probably been the most that I've been away from home and leading my own little life in my own little flat here. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a few little updates on things that I have learned about myself since moving up here. One, I've learned that I need to dress better. It's still a work in progress, but we're getting there, I promise. Um, people up here are very fashionable, and, and I've realised that I'm not, and that's not really a shock to the system, I've always kind of known it, but just being around people that are a bit trendy-wendy really put it into context that I need to smarten up a bit. So I have done a few more shirts here and there, nice trousers and that. I still go to Primark. Sorry. I actually get up in the mornings now and do my hair. That was an alien concept to me six months ago, but now look at it. It's shoddy, I know, but at least it's an effort. It's a start, isn't it? Two, I can actually keep quite a tidy house. I mean, I will come out to you now and tell you that I'm quite a proud scrubber. I don't mind scrubbing the bathroom. I don't mind scrubbing the hobs. I don't mind even going over the surfaces with a wet tea towel. I don't mind. I actually quite enjoy it with a bit of my music on, wiggling away like something off the Royal Family. It's not bad at all. Three, I'm not an abysmal cook. All right, I, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I'm not Mary Berry, though I have woken up on occasion with hair that is quite similar to hers. Um, but I haven't given anyone food poisoning yet, anyone who's been over for tea and that. They haven't immediately retched and run to the toilet to be sick, which to me, is an achievement. And my little specialities are, are curries and, and spaghetti bolognese, is nothing too mental. But I can bake a good cake sometimes, a few times, once. It's a start. Four. I can still party through the night. Um, when I was at uni, I used to rave all night long and live it up and everything, and then I've had a two-year little break and I've come up here and I've learned that I can still 
go out at nine o'clock at night and roll in seven o'clock the next morning, no problems. I can hold my own. Admittedly, it takes me three days to recover. But hey, at the time, it seems like the best thing ever. And one more thing I've learned about myself since moving up to Manchester, I like asparagus. True story. Just before I started filming this video tonight, saying I was making my grand return to vlogging, I asked if any of you had questions out there that you wanted to ask me for a little end of video Q&A session, get in contact, and you did. You got in contact and you're absolute three of you got in contact. Cheers for your support, guys. Three. Anyway, here are those three questions. Daniel Dutson asked, if you could date any celeb, who would it be and why? I hate this question. There's a few. It would probably be Angelina Jolie, because think of the jewellery that those kids can make. Dan Langshaw asked, do your feet smell? And then a chew emoji, just in case I wasn't sure what one looked like. One way to find out. That one's probably... That's alright, that one. That one's got a bit more of a kick to it, so... No. Pardon the pun. No, my feet are lovely. Thank you. Smell of roses. And finally, Sam Thorburn asked me a very, very sort of serious question. If you had to live the rest of your life as a talking vegetable, what vegetable would you choose? yet. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at DG Ellis, that was at DG Ellis 0907. If you want to follow me, go for it, go wild, love it. Why not? You only live once. Now I'm going to try and make as many of these videos as possible. I've been dared to try and make one video every week, just for the next sort of two months or so and see how it goes. So, I was going to wish myself good luck with that, but that's a bit strange. So we'll see if it happens, let's just say, and hopefully I'll be collaborating with a few people and introducing you to a few of my friends along the way. So hopefully I'll see you then. Bye! Walking is good. It's actually a good thing. It's healthy. Today, I must have walked miles, absolutely miles in the sun. One thing I haven't learned to do is to put my phone on silence while I'm making a video.